Hey, it's Griffin Sarah, and this is episode seven on this here bus. That's right, and we are here in the shadow of a volcano on Mount Kilimanjaro. <laughs> so where we are. <laughs> All right, guys, so I changed out the shift rod today. Well, I didn't change out the shift rod. I changed out the bushing, so I had to take the shift rod out. First thing I had to do was drop the pan in the front. I'll show you what that looks like. And then I had to uh, basically release the coupler that's in the middle of the front shift rod to the rod that goes to the uh, transmission in the back. Anyway, it was a little, a little difficult at first until I realized I had to turn things on their side. So let me show you a few things and show you the difference between this bus and a lot of the other shift rod coupler things I've been seeing on YouTube. All right, guys, this is the pan. Uh, it's uh, right under the front. And, uh, well, you'll see that these little things are, are open. You know, here's one on the other side. Anyways, you just loosen up the two bolts on one side and don't take them all the way out. Then you to, uh, have to take the other two bolts out. There's a couple in the front and the back that are different size. Everything on this thing seems to be 13 millimeter. So I'm going to show you what's under there. Now here's the uh, mid coupler that connects the front shift rod uh, to the back shift rod. Front one goes up to the stick and the back one goes to the transmission. I haven't put the wire back in yet because I'm still working on it. But that's where it is. You got to loosen that up. Then you have to turn the front shift rod on its side in order to release it. You can see here where I uh, put it back in and you can see the grease there where the red grease is. But uh, the bushing on this one is a little bit interesting. It's not like the others I've seen on, uh, <clears throat> on YouTube. It actually goes in the shift rod. All right, so it seems to work pretty good. First gear is right about here on the brake. Second gear straight down, third. It's kind of tight, but it seems to work pretty good. And down and over, and that's reverse. Working a lot better than it was before. Look how easy that goes in. Second, third, fourth, neutral, back to first. I'm happy. That means I don't have to bother with a coupler in the back. <laughs> well, here's what the old bushing looks like. It's all messed up. Had a hell of a time getting it out. Some of the distortion on it is from me just trying to pull this thing. But, that's it. Got a new one in. Basically what happened is you got to, uh, you got to put it in there in the front and then you push down like on the table or something and it pops right into place. And it seems to have done the trick. 